every weekend that we get closer to the holidays, it seems like the deals are getting a little bit better. So we got sub $50 deals today, a bunch of sub $80 deals today, and of course the mainstay sub $100 deals. So we went with straight shoes. I'm gonna do a different gear deal roundup, top 10 best early Black Friday gear deals coming to you this weekend. So hold on tight if you're looking for some good gear, but today we're gonna go straight shoes only. All right, guys, before we get into it, if you haven't checked out the Running Shoe Matcher tool yet, go to runningshoematcher.com. This is a really cool tool I built that matches you with the best shoe for you based on your goals and preferences. So you go in there, answer five questions about what type of shoe you're looking for, whether you want a daily trainer, a tempo shoe, or a race day shoe, and we'll match you with the best shoe for you. So it's live right now, and it's free. You can check it out at runningshoematcher.com, and I'll put a link in the description below. All right, guys, so first up, we have the Saucony Endorphin Shift 3. This is on sale for $70 at Sierra. Now I did a video earlier this week, which I know you guys didn't watch. It was one of my worst performing videos recently because this isn't a sexy new shoe, but I did a video this week comparing this to the New Balance 1080 V13. And this is a shoe that deserves a lot more consideration than it gets, especially at that $70 price point. Now, not everybody wants one of those super mushy, marshmallowy, quicksand feeling type of shoes. And that's where the Saucony Endorphin Shift 3 comes into the mix. If you prefer firmer, more traditional, traditional feeling daily trainer type shoes like the Saucony Ride or the Nike Pegasus, but want a little bit more protection. And the Saucony Endorphin Shift 3 is the max cushion shoe for you. It also has a four millimeter drop only. So if you prefer lower drops, if you wanna take some of the pressure off of the upper legs, then the Saucony Endorphin Shift 3 is a great choice. I wholeheartedly endorse this at 70 bucks. You absolutely cannot go wrong with this. This tall stack of foam will last forever, particularly if you are a lighter wearing runner on the the outsole of your shoe. That's really the only downfall of the shoe. Outsole isn't super durable. All right, guys, next up here, we have another rockered firm shoe. We have the Brooks Hyperion Max for $65 at Dick's Sporting Goods. We highlighted this one last week. I'm gonna continue to highlight it at this $65 price point until it goes out of stock because this is a really good price. Now, as most of you know, this is not my favorite shoe, but a lot of runners out there have had really good experience with it. If you want a faster shoe that is non-plated for up-tempo work or potentially even for daily training, this is a really good choice. The DNA Flash Foam in here is a super critical EVA compound that is very firm, but provides a ton of energy return. So if you're the type of runner who puts a lot of force down into your shoe and likes a snappier feeling, then this is a great choice for a non-plated workout shoe. Unlike that Saucony Endorphin Shift 3, the outsole on this thing is very robust. It's also really good in the wet weather, so it could be a really solid winter workout shoe as well. All right, guys, next up we have the Asics Nova Blast 3. This is $105 at Fleet Feet. It was $110 last week. They've cut the price here. Running Warehouse is also running a deal on it where it's $100, bucks, but you get an extra 25% off once you put it in the cart. So you can get this as cheap as $75, although I'm not sure how long that deal is going to last. I do know the Fleet Feet $105 will be up for some time. So at $75, this is a really solid choice for a cushioned daily trainer. The stack isn't as tall as a shoe like the New Balance 1080 V13 or the Asics Gel Nimbus. This one's got about 31 millimeters in the forefoot and 23 millimeters in the heel, but it's a really nice shoe for slower, easy miles. An alternative to a shoe like the Pegasus or Audi Zero SL, this is on the softer end of the spectrum. So if you want something for comfort for crushing through that daily work, then the Asics Nova Blast 3, especially at $75, is a really good buy. Nova Blast 4 is coming out soon. That is going to ship in early December. So we can expect that we're going to see some really good deals on the Nova Blast 3 until it's sold out. All right, guys, speak of the devil. Next up here, we have the Adidas Audi Zero SL. My favorite daily trainer, my favorite firm running shoe in my rotation. This one is $43 right now at Dick Sporting Goods. So this is Adidas's Nike Pegasus competitor. It's their entry into the traditional daily training market. It uses Light Strike Foam here, and then there is a little bit of puck of Light Strike Pro, which is that racing foam that's in shoes like the Audios Pro 3, Takumi Sun, and Boston 12. Now this has a really nice, easy to run in type of feel. It does require some break-in 
period. But if you don't mind a firmer shoe, this is a really good option for medium long runs and even long runs where you're not gonna want a plated shoe. Now, my last season of training, I used this primarily as my long run shoe going up to 16 miles. I've switched in the Boston 12 now because I'm gonna be putting a little bit more emphasis on the long run. So I wanted that plated shoe to support some faster work, but this is a really good shoe for those aerobic based long runs and those paces where you're not gonna be ripping, not gonna be hitting marathon pace efforts, but just nice and steady. Outsole on this is also really solid. I know as we're getting into those winter months, that is a consideration. This is not the continental rubber, but it is very grippy. And we got almost full coverage from the heel to the forefoot. All right, guys, next up, we have the New Balance 1080 V12 on sale for $92 at Dick's Sporting Goods. Now, ever since the 1080 V13 came out, we saw that the prices on this have been down to a 125, 110. This is the first week where I've seen them sub 100. It is going to be only for that blue colorway, but still a really solid deal. Now, the 1080 V13 is going to be a little bit softer, a little bit more relaxed and cushioned than we're seeing in the V12, but the V12 is a solid option if you want a protective daily training type of shoe that's not gonna have that marshmallowy feeling that we see from a lot of these modern training foams. V12 is also a very durable shoe, probably a little bit more durable than even the V13. So if you're looking for a more cushioned shoe for daily miles, more cushioned than something like the Saucony Ride or Nike Pegasus, then the 1080 V12 is a great choice, especially as we transition into this winter period where a lot of runners are looking to build up their mileage. All right, guys, next up here, we have another shoe that is the cheapest that I've seen it so far. It's the Puma DV8 Nitro 2. This is on sale for $90 at Dick Sporting Goods. So this is one of those dual foam to high mileage trainers. There is a plate in there and there's two different versions of Puma's super critical foam. One of them is a Piva and one of them is a more standard trading foam. So our friend of the channel, Curiosities, is a big fan of the shoe. I also know a lot of runners love the shoe for its grip, its durability, and also its feel that is not super soft, also not too firm. It's one of those sweet spot kind of shoes that's perfect for daily training, but can be used for some up-tempo work if needed. Now there are rumors that the DV8 Nitro 3 will be coming out soon, potentially next spring, which is why we might be seeing this for sub $100 right now. But again, this is going to be a great choice for the winter months because that Puma grip outsole is really durable, really sticky, and there's a really generous cover of rubber out there on the bottom of the shoe. So if you live in an area with a lot of snow or ice and you're looking for a shoe to get you through the winter without slipping and sliding everywhere, then the Puma DV8 Nitro 2 at $90 would be an excellent choice. All right, guys, next up here, we have the Atreyu Daily Trainer for $77 at REI. Now, Atreyu is a brand that focuses on making simple and affordable shoes. They're based out of Austin, Texas. And they do a really good job of putting high quality shoes out there at a price point that is not going to break the bank. So the Daily Trainer is typically priced at around 100 bucks. This one is coming in at under $80. And what you're gonna get here is a really no frills ride in a package that looks pretty good. I'm personally not sure if I would use this as an everyday running shoe, but it would be a solid option for that treadmill and hybrid gym work type of shoe. It also does really have a solid outsole covering here. So again, a great shoe if you need something with a little bit more traction for these wet winter months. Next up here, we have another sale at REI, and this is the Hoka Rincon 3 for $100. Now, this is a shoe that hasn't seen an update in quite some time. I'm really curious if we're gonna see a Rincon 4 and a Hoka Mach 6, because the Mach 5 is a phenomenal shoe. But with the Rincon, you're gonna be getting a nice lightweight, snappy daily training type of feel. This is a shoe that you can use in that hybrid daily trainer tempo roll, similar to something like a Saucony Canvara, although it's a little bit more high stacked and protective. This is a shoe that can get the job done Done for pretty much any run that you could want to do under 10 to 12 miles. I personally would like a shoe with a little bit more cushion and protection than this for long runs. Also, this isn't going to be the most durable shoe because of that outsole. This is a great shoe if you want something for shorter, faster efforts. All right, guys, next up here, we have the Saucony Triumph 20 on sale right now for $80 at Nordstrom Rack. And again, Running Warehouse has their 25% off 100 deals. You can get it for $75 at Running Warehouse, though, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure how long that deal is going to last over there at Running Warehouse. So this was my go-to long run shoe in the winter last year. This is the Run Shield version. So you can see this upper here has a waterproof membrane on it. Nordstrom Rack does have the Run Shield version and all of the colors on sale for $80. I love this Power Run Plus midsole because it's nice and protective, but also does have some really good bounce and pep to it if you want to do a light workout or even some marathon pace during your longer run in a max cushion shoe. I also love how it has this full length outsole here. There's 
tons of rubber on this thing. So again, if you need something for the winter months where it's gonna be wet, the Saucony Triumph is a great choice. Now Triumph 21 was just an upper revision and that one is $160 full price. So you're able to get it for less than half the price right now, which is a crazy deal for the Triumph 20, which has the same exact midsole. All right, guys, last up here, we have the New Balance Rebel V3 for $64 at that running warehouse, 25% off deal. So this shoe here was my shoe of the year. I love the low to the ground, simple, flat, flexible platform that this offered. I've now transitioned it into that hybrid treadmill gym roll, and it served me really well in that as well. Now it uses that fuel cell foam here, so it's gonna be a nice foam for faster efforts, offers really good energy return. New Balance is going to be moving away from the super critical TPU EVA blend in their fuel cell foams in the next generation of shoes. So they're gonna be going with the standard Piva like every single other brand out there. But hey, that's the way the market's gotta go. But if you wanna experience the awesomeness of the current generation fuel cell, this is gonna be the cheapest way that you could do it. $65 in this Rebel V3. You could use it as a daily trainer for shorter efforts. You could use it for interval training. You could use it for tempo runs, threshold work, any type of faster work work this is a great shoe. Now, I was in a non-plated period of training in my last training block, so I wasn't running in any plated shoes, wanted to focus on building up leg strength. So I used this for a lot of that work. I even used this for long runs. I wouldn't recommend doing this for anything over 10 to 12 miles for most runners, unless you're okay with having a bit more beating on your legs than you typically would with a little bit more cushion in your shoe. Highly recommend this shoe, $64 at Running Warehouse. All right, guys, so there you have it. Stay tuned for the weekend gear deals we got black friday coming up so i'm gonna be putting out a ton more deal and discount content as always thank you for watching thank you for liking and subscribing and i'll be back tomorrow with another video